Hi Aquarius, this is Power and Light Tarot. I'm coming at you with your love reading for the first part of December 2018 and this is going to be what are their true intentions in love with you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Really appreciating it. Alright you guys. And um, don't forget to check your other videos, your moon and rising. You can get your information uh, over at cafeastrology.com. You can get your chart there, all right? And um, bottom of the deck, Aquarius, is the Seven of Wands and the Magician. So the Seven of Wands is also here in your reading. Um, and this talks about either defending yourself, standing up for yourself. It can also be resisting, okay? Depending on, on how to, you know, depending on the other cards that are around it. Let's get a couple cards here um, from the Romance Angel cards. The Magician is there as well, and the Magician can talk about a few different things as well. So let's see how this applies to your reading. It does show up in your reading as well, um, in the Vimeo reading here. And I'm going to be going over to uh, Vimeo for the second half, and we're going to be talking about you know, what your partner may be hiding from you, what they really want, uh, what they are hoping and fearing, the potential in the relationship as well, okay? So, and also we're going to be discussing the challenge, all right, or the obstacle here. What does Aquarius need to know? First half of December, please, in love. So we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. All right, so we're going to get one more card here. Let me pull from these other cards here. These are the Earth Wisdom. What does Aquarius need to know, please? First part of December. Go with the flow. Well, you know, playfulness is kind of go with the flow too, right? Go with the flow. Uh, one more card. What does Aquarius need to know here? First part of December. Freedom. Okay, well that could be, you know, part of go with the flow here. So let's get started here, uh, Aquarius. Your current energy here is the Hermit card, and it's in here with the Strength card here. So, you know, you are uh, gathering your strength up. Uh, after going within, okay? Um, you know, you're taking on the hermit mode. You could be dealing with the Virgo, but I feel like you are just doing some soul searching um, and, you know, gathering your strength here. Uh, possibly some resilience here in a matter, okay? In the past, you have the Ten of Swords in the reverse, so you're letting betrayal go. You're letting the backstabbing go after clarity about a maybe a third party here, but about a situation here uh, with the tower moment, okay? You could have broke up with your partner and, you know, you, you're letting the backstabbing go here because of the clarity here with the Ace of Swords. Um, there could have been a tower moment, yeah, because you found out the truth about something, probably this backstabbing that you're letting go. There could be, you know, this tower moment can simply be uh, a powerful realization here with the Ace of Swords, okay? So, um, we have how you're seeing your partner is the Fool. Um, they might be a Fool, Aquarius, because there's a lot of people in your reading here. I do use a lot of cards. I have two decks here. Um, and, you know, whoever you're dealing with, they might be a whore, okay? Just so you know. <laughs> the uh, Fool is here as you're seeing them this way, and it's here with the Ace of Wands and the King of Wands in the reverse. The King of Wands is like a player uh, MF, okay? He is, all right? He sluts around town, and, you know, he's probably this good-looking, passionate guy, but he's, he's a slut, okay? So the Fool is here. You see them as taking a leap of faith here, going out on their own, uh, to have a new beginning uh, regarding passion here the ace of wands is here something that is passionate probably you know um, yeah probably yeah so let's let's go to the next one all right so here we have the high priestess now this is their current energy and it's here with the page of swords and the queen of pentacles 
you could be dealing with somebody who's, you know, they could be spiritual, right? With the ace, with the high priestess, sorry. And, um, you know, they could just be kind of chilling right now. They could be using their intuition uh, while trying to figure something out, possibly with the page of swords, with that, you know, that mental energy. Um, it could be about a queen of pentacles. Um, I, I don't think this is you. It could be. You could be dealing with an earth sign here, you know, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, they could be, you know, they could have secrets as well. You know, the high priestess, they could be harboring some secrets and they're kind of feeling that energy. Um, or they are spiritual themselves, okay? Um, I feel like they could be hiding a lot of things. There's way too many people in this reading, okay? I have about eight or nine kings and queens here in your reading. Maybe it's just eight. That's still a lot of kings and queens, all right? And that's not counting... Um, I think there are one or two knights here in your reading, okay? So next up we have their past energy is the Wheel of Fortune. There could be a Sagittarius in the mix here. But the Wheel of Fortune is with the Eight of Wands, which talks about movement and developments, like changes, okay? It can talk about communication. I don't think that's what it means here. So here with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like they are in the past, they could have gotten some money, or they could have just been, you know, experiencing some changes that were favorable to them. They were faded changes with the Wheel of Fortune. They were meant to happen. And they've gone through some changes here. And they wanted to be single or they became single or something like that, okay? Um, this could be somebody else in their energy, but I don't think it is. I think that they, in the past, have gone through some serious changes here uh, and... Um, they could have also experienced in the past some news that came in maybe about money or something or about something favorable that is happening to them. Um, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is changes as well. Next to the Eight of Wands is either changes or, excuse me, communication. But if they did hear some communication here, um, it could have had to do with money. And this is why maybe they are, you know, feeling so abundant here in the past as the nine of pentacles you know you could be dealing with an earth sign as i mentioned because we have the nine of pentacles next to the queen of pentacles but i feel like that is not really uh an issue here so much i'm saying that because you know i think there's like four king every king is here i believe and um there's three queens here okay so um yeah let's go on here I don't actually I don't think the king of swords is here but all the other kings there's three kings you know we have re repeats as well the king of wands is here twice in your reading okay so they're seeing you as either their wish come true okay we have the nine of cups the queen of cups and the four of cups in the reversed in the reverse so, you know, the Four of Cups in the reverse is a couple things. It is, it, is, it is, I'm sorry, it is either they are open now, you're seeing them as open to opportunities here, all right? Well, in the past they were not. Um, and this could be, you could be seeing them as coming out of this energy though, okay? Um, here I have it in the upright, but coming out of this energy where they didn't want something in the past, all right? Um, but you're seeing them, you know, they're seeing you rather as the Queen of Cups here. You know, they could be seeing you as in love or they could be seeing you that they love you, right? They, they could be. But I feel like they're seeing you um, as maybe in love. Maybe you are their wish or maybe you are getting a wish right now uh, about love. Something like that. But And you are coming out of this energy here. Uh, maybe where you were not accepting any opportunities here. It's going to go different for each of you guys. I'm going to get one more card here. Um, why is Aquarius's partner seeing Aquarius as the Four of Cups in the reverse, please, with the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Cups? Why does Aquarius's partner see Aquarius as the Four of Cups in the reverse? Okay, so here we have the Six of Pentacles. Now, the Six of Pentacles to me is, at least in this reading, is uh, talking about a third party. We have the Ten of Swords up here. The Tower is here, which can talk about third party energy. 
Um, and, you know, there's a lot of uh, being left out in the cold in this reading here with the Five of Pentacles showing up twice, okay? Now, you know, they could be seeing you as not wanting, you know, coming out of this energy where you did not want to be in this third party. This is how this looks here. And also, you know, they're seeing you as either being in love with you or you are in love with them, with the Queen of Cups. They could also, you know, they could be a water sign here too. But they're, I feel like they're seeing you as their wish or you are now getting your wish now, okay? But let's go on here and we can... Uh, clarify a little bit. There's so many people in this reading that, um, you know, it's hard to kind of distinguish between the energies here. So we have the King of Wands twice in the reading. The Queen of Pentacles is here. The King of Cups is here. I thought the King of Cups was twice here. The King of Cups is here. The King of Pentacles here. Goodness gracious. Queen of Cups over here. Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, King of Wands again, good God. And, um, yeah, so all together that's like eight kings and queens here, which is, you know, highly interesting, okay? So, the situation here between you, Aquarius, and whoever you're dealing with here is the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. There could be somebody here, you know, that is involved in a third party, possibly. Excuse me. No, the Three of Swords is not here, but the Ten of Swords is here, right? And so are a few other cards that can talk about a third party situation here. Um, so, you know, the situation here is that somebody has been left out in the cold here. It could be a water sign here with the King of Cups here. But I think what's happening is that somebody, the situation is somebody is left out in the cold and they could be a water sign here, but I feel like the situation that they're being left out of is about love and money and a home or assets here with the Ten of Pentacles, okay? There's some level or degree of money here, uh, affluence, maybe not that much money, but there's some type of stability here and love here that somebody's being left out in the cold alright now next up on Vimeo Aquarius I'm going to be uh, going into the obstacle here between whoever you're dealing with uh, besides the fact that there's you know 40 people here um, but you may want to you know visit me over there on Vimeo I'm going to be talking about the obstacle what they're hiding their hopes and fears the potential here with this person and what they want okay okay Aquarius see you over there